Well, the DMV is uh, not short, we know, of bucket list places. Up now, we are looking at another museum off the National Mall. Yeah, we have so many of these gems. Uh, this one is in Montgomery County. It is billed as a fascinating gallery. Photojournalist Amar Arthur Ozma takes us there. Glenstone is a contemporary art museum located about 45 minutes outside of Washington, D.C. There are art spaces that are indoors as well as a really robust outdoor sculpture program, as you can see. My name is Erica Bogies, and I am the Senior Communications Manager at Glenstone Museum. This is the pavilions, and from up here it looks like a lot of different little buildings, but you'll find that when you go down into the museum, they're all connected underneath. And in fact, we're standing on top of it right now. Glenstone largely displays contemporary artwork that is post-World War II, and contemporary artwork, I think, can be intimidating to some people because there can be so many meanings to it. But the beautiful part about it is that with contemporary artwork, there is no set meaning. Anything you bring, anything you see, anything you interpret is valid. And that's also why we have our guides here. They can answer any questions you have about the work. I am standing in front of Ellsworth Kelly's Yellow Curve, which is one of his floor paintings. It is part of our exhibition, Ellsworth Kelly at 100. So this fall and winter are a perfect time to come to Glenstone because we'll have both Ellsworth Kelly at 100 on view, as well as our upcoming exhibition, Iconoclast, bringing back pieces by Krasner and Matisse and Asawa and Pollock, uh, the things that our visitors request again and again. We're in room seven. We have a library and visitors are welcome to pull books off the library, sit here for as long as they'd like to and read. It's the most relaxing place, I think, to sit at Glenstone and read for a bit. It feels so serene. We're standing in the water court, and this is the central element in the pavilions. As you walk around the museum space, you can see this from all the windows. It's a very popular spot for local wildlife and for our museum visitors. At Glenstone, we ask that our visitors keep their photography outdoors, and the reason for this is sometimes in a museum, I think having your phone out can really break the experience you're having, and it can break the sort of peacefulness or thoughtfulness that you are feeling as you walk around that space. And we're hoping to help people stay in that moment. We're looking at Split Rocker by Jeff Koons. It is a hobby horse and a dinosaur that have been fused. It's planted with 24,000 live plants. So it's kind of another piece of this beautiful seasonal landscape that's always shifting. This is a very big campus. I think our visitor average is two to three hours. I am a slow museum goer, so I would give myself a good five hours to see everything, but I think you can make a day of it. We have a cafe and a patio with food and beverage. I think you really can fill up as much time as you'd like here. Tickets to Glenstone are always free. Uh, we do have a limited number of tickets each day just to keep the atmosphere serene and um, uncrowded, but there are plenty of tickets. We also have several categories that don't need to reserve tickets in advance. So if you're a student age 12 and up, if you come here on public transportation, if you are a veteran or active duty military, a teacher. We're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you can learn more about us at www.glenstone.org.